In the diagram, A is a point on the circumference of a circle with center O and radius R. A circular arc with center A meets the circumference at B and C. The angle OAB is equal to X radians. The shaded region is bounded by AB, AC and the circular arc with center A and B and C. I mean joining B and C. The perimeter of the shaded region is equal to half of the circumference of the circle. We need to show that x is equal to cos inverse of pi upon 4 plus 4x. And for the second part, verify by calculation that x lies between 1 and 1.5. And also use the iterative formula x is equal to inverse of cos pi upon 4 plus 4x to determine the value of x correct to two decimal places give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. Right, so to show that um, x is equal to cos inverse cos of this. Now, first of all, um, there is a semicircle. Not a semicircle, but there is a, a part of a circle. And this um, we're given in the question is um, x. And this is uh, a radius of that small circle. So that's going to become then um, all the way to the center, and this is also all the way to the center. So this is equal to that. It's an isosceles triangle. So that's going to make 90 degrees here. So what do we have? Is I can probably this is a, this is b. Maybe I can call this x. So this is x a, and then o, and here we have got x and uh, the radius of the bigger circle is r we can find x a this is the adjacent hypotenuse so we're going to be using cos cos of x is equal to adjacent x a over the hypotenuse r so x a is equal to r cos of x if this is x a it goes all it goes all the way to b in the question here we are it goes all the way to b so this is two times x a so that's going to be then a b is equal to 2 or cos of x. This part here is x. So this is 2 cos of x and this is, I mean 2 r cos of x, 2 r cos of x. What is the arc? BC. Arc BC is simply uh, the radius and the radius is 2 cos, I mean 2 r cos of x times the angle here 2x so we have then um, the angle is going to be 2x times x which is then 4x 4x or cos of x that's the arc BC the perimeter of the shaded region is then this radius plus that radius which is 2r cos of x plus 2r cos of x plus BC, the arc BC, is 4x r cos of x. That's going to be then 4r cos of x plus 4x r cos of x. Okay, we're looking at then um, cos of x, cos of x is common, r and r is common, so r cos of x, in brackets we've got 4 plus 4x. So that's the perimeter. We are told in the question the perimeter is of the shaded region is half the circumference of the big circle. So that's going to be then half times circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So pi r. So this is going to be pi r is equal to r cos of x into 4 plus 4x. This and this can go out and I'm left with that. So then I've got pi divided by 4x plus 4 okay is equal to cos of x therefore x is going to be the inverse cos of pi upon 4x plus 4 and that's the first part and it has been shown okay because we were told to show that this is going to be equal to all of that and here we are for the first part for the second part we are told to verify by calculation that x lies um, between 1 and 1.5. Now this is the um, this is the equation. Okay, so what we're going to do 
I'm going to call this, um, maybe I can send the X on the other side. So I can say then, um, or maybe I can send the costs on this side. Okay, so I, I have X is equal to inverse cos of pi upon 4X plus 4. All of that can be, uh, can be as Fx is equal to x minus inverse cos of pi upon 4x plus 4. So, when x is equal to 1, you're going to have to find f1, which is 1 minus inverse cos of pi upon 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 8. And if you have to work this out in your calculator, you'll end up with minus 1, minus 0 0.1 six seven to three significant figures similarly if you do x is equal to my 1.5 so f minus i mean what times 1.5 is going to be 1.5 minus inverse cos of four times 1.5 is six six plus four is ten and do that in your calculator you'll see that uh, you're going to end up with 0 0.249 now what do we observe is that f1 times f1.5 gives a negative value therefore x lies between okay these intervals here we are for the second part I'm coming up for the third part now Hi, welcome back to the third part. We need to use the iterative formula, okay, to give um, the value of x correct to two decimal places and give the each, I mean, give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. Now we have to use an initial value of x. So what is x? x is going to be, we were told at the beginning that it's between 1 and 2, I mean 1 and 1.5. So you take 1 plus 1.5 and you divide by 2 you're going to end up with 1.25. So that's the initial value of x we're going to be plugging into the equation. So therefore, x, uh, the first value of x, okay, uh, is going to be inverse cos of pi upon 4 plus 4 times 1.25. Okay, so this is quite basic. Basically, if you have to do this on your calculator, it's not very difficult. Plug in the value, you're going to end up with 1.2142. The next uh, value of x, next uh, value of the iteration will be pi upon 4 plus 4 times, this time, 1.2142. Remember to give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. And for this one, you're going to see that this value is going to pop up from your calculator. Then, inverse cos what we're doing right now we're trying to find enough uh, iteration 4 times um, 1.2082 and if you do it your calculator will just do the magic for you 1.2072 again same story pi over 4 plus 4 times 1.2072 and this time it's going to be 1.2070. I think that's quite fair enough for me to say now the, these values seem to be converging to 1.21, 1.208, 1.21. So therefore, the root or value of x is going to be 1.21 to two decimal places. Okay, so this question was taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths, Paper 3. Take care. Bye.